I want you to check out my very special friend, Lisa Freeman. Check out Lisa. She's got a great venison dish right now. Hi, Scott. Today we're cooking some Maryland whitetail backstrap. This has been cleaned up very nicely. We've taken all of the fat and all of the silver sinew off of it. You can see it's very, very clean. I'm going to drizzle a little, little bit of oil, extra virgin olive oil, onto the backstrap. So I have some high mountain steak seasoning, and I'm going to go ahead and season all sides. It's such a thin and small piece of meat, it's going to cook really quickly, and that'll help me also gauge the temperature and, and help me or prevent me from overcooking it as well. So I have my Camp Chef cast iron skillet that's been slightly warming this meat into a hot skillet. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Now if it doesn't pull away very easily, it's not ready yet. You want to let it keep cooking until it gently pulls away like so. Give it a good flip. You should be able to see good color. Let it cook on that side. This is a pretty small Maryland whitetail backstrap. I'm actually going to gently roll it to sear it on all sides. All right, it's finished cooking. I'm going to get this backstrap out of the pan, and I'm going to let it rest, and then I'm going to start the sauce. Today what we're doing is a really simple, flavorful sauce, just a light pan sauce, but we're doing a bagna calda sauce. And bagna calda is traditionally an Italian fondue, but today we're going to make it into a pan sauce so it nicely complements the backstrap. So I'm going to add quite a bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm putting in sliced garlic, and I'm putting in probably about, oh, a tablespoon and a half for this. I want a lot of garlic flavor in this. And I'm going to turn this down. I don't want to burn the garlic. And I'm going to pick up all of those seasonings and flavors off the bottom of the pan. I'm also going to add in about, um, about a teaspoon or so of anchovy paste. You can use canned anchovies. Be sure to mince them up real fine. I'm going to turn the fire off. I'm going to finish it with a little butter. And that is it. Okay, so I'm going to start slicing the back strap, and I'm going to slice at an angle and into medallions. Oh, that's beautiful. Still very pink in the middle. Spoon this pan sauce of bagna calda right over the top of it. Very garlicky. You've got to be a garlic lover. And you, who doesn't love butter and olive oil? I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of parsley. Great flavors. Don't let the anchovies scare you, not overpowering. Scott, you know what I'm talking about.